All right, what you're looking at is another H-Bridge motor control, but this one has two, I think, fairly important improvements over earlier models. This, of course, is a motor. You can hear it where the pulse width modulation is controlling the speed. Or you can Alright, what are the two modifications? I'm using some 2N7000 MOSFETs to interface between a 3.3 volt microcontroller and the 12 volt motor H-bridge setup without the use of optocouplers or anything special. The CD4093's work like the uh, CD 4001's except they have Schmidt trigger inputs all right if we go out a little bit There's my switching power supply that I built in another video. And if you actually built this thing on a circuit board, it would be fairly simple. In an earlier video, we discussed this basic H-bridge circuit with two inputs A and B. And here is our truth table. Simple enough. Now we're going to move up to a higher level. This is the circuit that you saw operating at the beginning of this video. Now we have three inputs an enable A, B, and enable, and we used an extra CD4093. We're using two of them and we're using all four inputs as opposed to this one where we just use three of the available four for the entire H bridge. I'm using two complete CD4093s for a full H bridge with an enable and a high Z output. As before, we discussed uh, we discussed this in an earlier video. Here's your truth table. The only difference is with the new design with the and the advantage of course of these MOSFET inputs and these CMOS Schmidt triggers gets us out of various problems we had in this earlier design from another video makes interfacing easy i didn't have to resort to ttl chips or transistor or bipolar transistors and inverters or whatever that makes it a lot simpler note that a cd4093 is pin for pin equivalent to a cd4011 but it has Smith trigger inputs, which are a big plus in these type circuits. So if we look at this circuit, what's the difference between this one versus this one? Here is our truth table here for A and B. The truth table for this is identical for the first one, as long as enable is high, input A and B, the outputs are identical. Other than if we take enable low, then the outputs are going to be high Z and nothing happens. Note the difference here.
identical tables other than the low Z other than the high Z output and for your information this is the this is the internal diagram of a CD4093 so that completes this basic review of that particular H bridge circuit a much easier input circuit to deal with and you get your Schmidt triggers and everything plus your enable and your high Z thanks for listening please uh, Click the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. Thank you for listening.